Welcome to Southwest Yard and Garden. I'm John White. Today we're going to be talking about some products that are of uh, organic or a natural use. Um, some people are concerned about the use of pesticides and they want to know what alternatives there are to pesticides and we do have some that are still a pesticide but not from a uh, or more from an organic source than a uh, chemical or synthetic source. And uh, a couple of ones we want to look at are uh, dormant oil sprays or oil sprays. Uh, this particular product here has canola oil in it, which is a vegetable oil. And so the use of this is really more 100% organic. Uh, this one is another oil spray, but this is a petroleum oil, a very lightweight uh, petroleum oil, so it kind of depends on how uh, closely you define your organic use and, and uh, what extent you want to go to, but either one of these can be used as a dormant spray on plants where we have insects that might be overwintering on the plant. And uh, these give a light film of oil that coats insect eggs or overwintering um, uh, cocoons that might be on the, the plant that um, uh, will suffocate the insect out, so that's kind of how those work, but also you can have beneficial insects on the plant that are also overwintering. So this product, even though it's organic, uh, can cause uh, some problems with your natural insect populations, your, your good guys. So it's very, very important to know the target pests that you're after and make a determination as far as you know how much damage is going to be done versus what kind of damage you're going to do with some uh, product that you might be spraying on. So know all the details on the product. So even though they're organic, um, they can be fatal, uh, can cause some problems. So uh, just because they're organic doesn't mean they're absolutely safe on everything. So you want to be careful with that. We also have uh, diatomaceous earth for some of the people that have roaches and crawling insects that come into your house. Uh, when things start to cool off, this can be dusted along some of the uh, cracks and crevices and along doorways and window sills. Uh, here's another product that has diatomaceous earth in it. This is fairly easy to find. Diatomaceous earth st stays around for, for quite a while. Uh, can be inhaled by the insects or, or uh, get into their... Um, into their skin and cuts into them and causes them to dry out. Uh, it's fairly long lasting as long as it isn't watered. So if we get some heavy rain, this product may need to be renewed. So here's a couple that you can use. Here's a, uh, another one that has uh, pyrethrin in it. And uh, pyrethrin is a uh, natural um, insecticide that comes from a uh, uh, chrysanthemum. Uh, this has a quick kill, not very much residual, and we see a lot of products um, like this one that have pyrethrins in it that uh, work good as a quick kill, quick knockdown, but the key is getting a good enough uh, cover on there to, to get the kill to it. Uh, Dipel or the Bacillus thuringiensis is a uh, insecticide that works real good on um, moth and butterfly larvae, so uh, butterflies are pretty, but some of their larvae do feed on plants, and people mistakenly uh, might use a product that will kill off that larvae. So if you want the butterflies, you have to be careful, and so even though we have an organic material, uh, it can kill off some of those larvae. So again, you need to know what the insect is, but Dipel or the Bacillus thuringiensis sold in several different uh, trade names is another product that can be used. Then some of our insecticidal soaps uh, can be used also for insect control. These have a, uh, a fatty acid of a salt uh, or of a soap in here that uh, again will coat the insects much like the uh, petroleum oils will uh, that will suffocate the insects off. So we have several different products that can be um, used with insecticidal soap. Uh, here's another one that is a pyrethrin based material. Now as far as weed control, there isn't a whole lot you can do organic weed control other than hoeing the weed out or pulling it out by hand, but this is a product that also has the insecticidal soap in it. And this works kind of like uh, almost spraying with a petroleum product where it causes a phytotoxic burn on the 
leaf and it'll give you a lot of top kill. So if it's a perennial weed like Bermuda grass, you can spray it, brown it out, it'll try and come back and then you'll need to hit it again. So that's another product that you can use. Uh, rotenone is a botanical insecticide, it is uh, derived from a plant. Uh, this does give a good kill on, on insects. There's also a couple others out there. Sabadilla is another one that you can find for use. Uh, a couple of fungicides. Bordeaux is a uh, copper fungicide. And then uh, here's a liquid copper fungicide that works good on some of our um, bacterial diseases that might be staying on some of the plants over winter. So that'd be good to use with your dormant spray. Uh, neem is a product that we've talked about before that is a growth regulator. comes from um, the neem tree and so it works in both fashions as being a growth regulator and controlling some of the populations of, of some of the insects, but it will also damage some of your beneficial insect populations, so you want to be careful of that. Uh, some of the books that are available for uh, information, for more information, if you want to stay organic, there's a lot of books out. This one is a uh, book that's a, uh, a nice homeowner's package. The authors on this have written a, a real good textbook. So if you are interested in more serious uh, organic gardening efforts, this one is an excellent textbook on uh, pest control using organic methods. So it talks a lot about the life cycles of, of insects. So there are a number of books out but again, remember that organic products, even though they are organic, uh, there can be some detrimental side effects where you can kill off some of your beneficial population. And some of the materials like rotenone can be fatal if ingested, so you want to be real careful with those products. So again, this is kind of a, a small offering to some of the products that are available on the market today.